Hello everybody and welcome back to these short video computer trainings. Today we're going to have a look at a command that we can use to change permissions on file and folders in Windows. Specifically for us this is Windows 7 32-bit. Right? So uh, the command is ICACLS. Uh, for who doesn't know CACLS is a change access control list. So it allows you to change access control lists on um, the NTFS file permissions on files and folders. The command actually has a bunch of switches, as you can see, you can get as granular as you want on the, um, on the permissions, you know, and it, it also has like a, a bunch of switches, so the ones we're going to use are T and C, T being the one that specifies um, that operation is performed on all matching files and directories, not only on the files, but, only on, the, on, the, but on the directories as well, and C indicates that the, the execution will not stop for an error or a message for um, requesting requesting your permissions to actually execute the command. Right, so let's clear it. Uh, we're going to use the temp folder, the C temp folder. Let's have a look at the permissions on that folder. So ICACLS C temp is going to show us the permissions, the access control list, the NTFS access control list. As you can see right here, we don't have everyone, right? So let's let's grant access to everyone. So what we're gonna do is gonna do ICLS C temp uh, slash grant. So we're gonna grant access. We can put grant or, de or deny. Um, we said everyone. Right? It's gonna be full access. And as we said, we're gonna use the T and the C wildcards oh we made a mistake right here actually ECA CLS yes there you go it applies to all the files let's have a look temp in there you go it, it applied full permission to everyone um, now, two things you should know about this command. One, if you want to run it in Windows 7, you should run the command window as an administrator. So go to even if 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 even if you if you're logged in as a user that has admin rights, go to Start All Programs Accessories, right click on the command prompt uh, on the on the command window and choose Run as Administrator. This way, the window is going to be ran with elevated privileges, so this way you can actually run the command, otherwise you won't be able to. And the second thing, if the folder has a, the folder name has a space in it, you're going to have to put it between quotes. But I guess, I guess um, this is for every command in, uh, in the command line, right? So let's uh, try that as well. We're going to have to create one. I don't think I have one, so let's do... Um, Temp folder. There you go. Should be there. There it is. Temp folder. Let's copy some files into it just to make sure that we have something there. So we're going to copy the contents from the temp folder actually. See temp. We're going to copy everything. All files and folders. See. Folder. We're gonna put a e switch to make sure we copy every single file and folder, including the empty folders. There you go, everything is copied. Let's have a look at the permissions. Let's see, everyone is not there. Let's grant it. We're gonna use the same command. So. CLS CLS C temp folder this time we're gonna have to put it between quotes temp folder grant everyone FTC there you go let's have a look I see CLS quotes Folder. So we have it, everyone, full permissions. All right. 
I hope you like the video. If you like, don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out our vlog watermarked at the bottom of the video. Thank you.